something going on and you call it and y'all start talking. Many people don't get an answer from God because they don't talk to him. Until there is a need. We don't, we don't talk to him until something might devastate us enough, amen, that we might say something. And once God brings that deliverance, we don't say nothing no more until we need him again. I, I will preach that after a while. Because what I learned about Hearts, amen. Praise God. Is that when people need you, they don't want you, they just need what's on you. They want that sap of that oil that's on you. And many times God can't do it because you ain't sap God up enough. You ever, you ever had some biscuits and some good gravy? That summer, some, some good green, good biscuit. Somebody gave you some good green. You had some gravy before, but that was the best green. You know, gave you some green and some biscuits, but sometimes you get some gravy and some biscuits. You don't want to end it, so you stop it slow. Buy a little bit of it slowly because there is a need for you to get the Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. It's more you have to eat it so so you can get the, 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 the core essence of the taste of it while you swallow it down. See, sometimes you can be in a hurry and you don't taste what you ate. The Bible says this. I'm going somewhere. He said, oh, taste. Come on, 
get to 12 o'clock and you look at 4 o'clock, it's still. Yes. We don't realize it's day until the light come on. You got to understand God in the spirit realm. You got to understand when God is working in your night season. Oh, that's good. Many of y'all can't see with your spiritual radar. is doing in your life with your amen praise God human intelligence of trying to figure out what God going to do next stubbornness can, can I talk about that spirit stubbornness will keep you from talking to God yeah. stubbornness will keep you weighted down and rebellious will keep you witchery it'll keep you thinking that amen praise God something is always going to happen right here this is people who live in amen, praise God, should have come in here. Every year this time. Come on, go over here, baby, y'all. Come on. Every year this time. Come on, here, right here. Come on. Every, every time this year, this time, or this year. You already depressed. Before that stuff happened, you know what I'm already
Augustine. This was powerful. In the kingdom was the devil. Many people think that the devil just arrived when you got saved. That joker was already in the kingdom. He was already positioned. Watch this. He already knew what he had in his heart. Sometimes I'm going to have to preach this by myself this morning. Sometimes People already know what they got in their heart against you. Amen. And sometimes stuff can, stuff can be so close upon it, you can't see from looking. Amen. Sometimes you got the back of it, the bigger picture of what Satan is behind God, manipulating, trying to take you down. And people are say, oh, that's just them. Right, you know I'm on one page. You know I'm with two books. I know all five of the books. Amen. If, if, if you're not spiritually able to discern. All right. See, God knew that Satan was there for a place. That's right. So watch this. God allowed him to get close enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's good, I read. That's good. God allowed him to get close enough. Like because God said, now if you keep doing it, I'm going to kick you out. That's what he said. I'm going to let you stay around long enough. Watch this. And I'm going to take your authority. Oh my God. I'm going to let you stay around long enough. And I'm going to take your praise. Come on. I'm going to take your joy. I'm going to take, my God, the yeah. peace that you yeah. have. Lord. I'm going to take, amen, the victory name. I'm going to even take, amen, away from you the move. You have movement. I gave you freedom. He said, I'm going to take your freedom. It is awful when God allowed you to run so far and he started taking you. Y'all ain't going to me. He started taking and because Satan didn't pay no attention, he thought he was the ace buku. He thought that what he was doing, that it was all right because he was the head of Hancho in praise and worship. So, uh, I'm trying to build something here. So, sometimes, amen, praise God, you got to let the devil get so close. <laughs> oh, listen to me, good sheep. <laughs> sometimes you let him get so close and show out. <laughs> Shall suffer persecution. Yes, it 
Amen. So the persecution, now make sure it's not just a fleshly fight and you won't back up. That's right. When it's a God fight, you stand firm. Amen. And the Bible says this, and all you've done to stay, he says, stand back up anyhow. You wake yourself and get yourself together because God is very well in that life. What did kill you? What did it come and shake you and make it you? Many of you ain't ready for the day. Many of you can't be made. Somebody said, well, why, Pastor? You too stubborn. Ah. You so rebellious until can't nothing come in and nothing go out. Uh-huh. That's what you want to do days ago. Nothing came in and nothing went out in the days of King Cyrus. Yes, yes. Amen. And many times the Lord has given us instructions for delivering and healing to set us free. We can't get it because what? We I want you to pray some more. Sometimes, listen, listen, Jazz with David. Sometimes you got to stop praying and shut up so you can get the instructions. Then you got to walk in some faith that you say you ain't got. But you get back up in a corner long enough, you'll come out of the kitchen. Sometimes you 
you listen to me, Junior, listen to me. Sometimes when you're giving people all of who you have been created to have, and you allow people to come, and you, your kindness. Anybody in here got good kindness? Yeah, so much. I'm good to you. I'm listen. You know, you can ask me for anything. I, I learned something over the years that when people wanted prayer and breakthrough, they always lined them up to bring them to Rhema. <laughs> they brought everybody and the mother, the grandmother, the sister, the uncle. They brought every child, every grandchild. They put everything on me. And because of my heart, I prayed for the whole nation. I would go to hell and stop. Just in case I need you, Jamal. I don't want to mistreat you. Yeah. All right, we're going back to the beginning. In the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was with God. The same as it was, Jesus made everything. God made everything. Amen. And hand reach. So as close as your hand is, if you hold it out, watch this. If you take your hand, you hold your hand out, and you bring your hand back to you, that's the closest God is to you. Y'all miss that analogy. If you take your hand, you hold your hand out, and bring your hand back to you, that's the closest God is to you. You ain't got to never think that he ain't with you. If you hold your hand out and bring your hand Therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. God said, I ain't going to accept you, except you become holy. He didn't say, I, I, I done made you holy, I want you to be acceptable. Mm -hmm. Meaning, he said, I want to work on you. All right. Tell your neighbor, say, I think I'm an unfinished product. I like unfinished product. But you ain't got to say unfinished. Realize he didn't hide. 
Come on. You don't get out of your car and shut your door. And about all I forgot, I put it in the back seat. You preaching. All right, now. You don't get so drunk that you don't know. You got Cheryl Ann at the house, and Cheryl Ann is a fool. Y'all ain't got to lift your hands this morning and say that. You already know you got a fool on your head. You already know. She getting on my nerves. Why are your nerves bad? All right. In the beginning, Satan was right there when you said, That's not I might. <laughs> but you say, I do. <laughs> not I know I do. Sam, it might be different from Kenny's I do. Right. But they mean the same. I'm either committed or I'm not. I'm either in it or I ain't. I'm either sold out or I won't. already there. Satan was already there. We already know. Commitment. Amen. Praise God. Many people don't like to be committed. And be not conformed to this world when you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Transformed means change. Instead of being, amen, like the world, he said, you are going to be changed from the world's way of thinking he said, but you're going to look like, amen, praise God. You're going to look at your life, here it is, and it's not going to be like the world. He said, I want you to look at your life. Your life does, should not be compatible, equal to the world's ways. All right. I don't hurt somebody right there. You should not, as a Christian, be sucking down no reefers oh, that's with good. your big mouth self. <laughs> with you a whole Budweiser six pack in your refrigerator come out of Thanksgiving come on. who you giving thanks to <laughs> amen. I think the church done going back amen come on well no 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 it's certain things in life the Bible puts us, says he puts us in the world when we're not of the world. He renews our mind. That's the word. See, what has happened to the system now is that people are sliding by. And what they're sliding by, amen, because they're not committed anymore because they don't want to be in the church. That's it. In the building, you got to be accountable. It's like, I got to be accountable if I be up on the pastor. No, 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 no. You are more than ready. Outside than your inside. That's it. Because one thing I learned, you ought to know better how to keep your lamb trembling, meaning fear, and keep your fire burning. That's it, that's it. Yeah. Okay, okay. My God, my God. Don't leave that part alone because people feel like, well, if I, if I ain't in church, I ain't got to be accountable. I can, let me tell you something, God will ride you down. Yes, he will. He'll be worse than that amen, any kind of stingray, masalali, whatever the cause is. He will find you wherever you are. You can be sitting in church and be with you. Yes, yes. You don't know we cannot hide from God. No, we can't. Don't you know that he said every secret place, every stone will be unturned? Don't you know that God got the number of where you are, where you've been, what you're doing in life? Don't you know that God's watching who he has called in these days? Yes. How you got to figure this thing that God don't see you? If you're a poor girl like me, he saw it. He saw the thin, the fat, the ugly, and the beautiful. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm almost at my point. I'm almost at my point. I'm almost at my point because I realize people are over turkey today. Instead of being a man, praise God, this world, he said, I don't want you to think like I won't change you. You'll, you, you look at the, a lot 
lot of the Christians today, and they're just like the world. Uh -huh. So many can't talk right because they don't think righteous. All right. Maybe they never change, never got born again, but fail, watch this, to renew their mind. All right, now. And that happens a lot of times. Yeah. People get born again, but not too many pick up their Bible uh -huh. to learn the scripture. Say that. Get into having a prayer night. They don't get into that habit. Mm -hmm. Listening to the beginner's class. Asking questions. Yes. Working within themselves to become new. Saints got to pick your Bible up. Pick Many baby. people ain't no shame. That's it. I'm ashamed if somebody catch me with my work I'm done. Come on. I'm ashamed. If you catch me with my work undone, I'm ashamed, I'm embarrassed, I'm gonna say I'm sorry if I hurt your feeling. My work ain't done. All right. Anybody ever had a day at your work ain't done? Yes, yes. You say something and you said, I'm so sorry. My work ain't done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so sorry. What, what are you saying, Apostle? I ain't prayed as hard as I should have. Oh, I ain't trusting God. I'm a little, little loose, loose tall. I'm a little relax, relaxed in the mouth. Uh, I just, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You got to pick that Bible up. Just about so you got to pick that Bible. You got to pick that Bible up. See, how heavy is your prayer life right now? How much faith are you applying to what you believe God could possibly, amen, praise God, do for you? To bring supernatural manifestations or manifestations. Now, if you give your life to Christ mm -hmm. and it happens, there is no, amen, and if things doesn't happen, there is no transformation in you. All right. Having a tongue to say it and a mind to not walk it, there is no transformation. Uh -huh. I want to be saved, but I refuse to walk in salvation. I want to be saved. But I don't want to give up. I'm so old. Hey, keep this in. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. I'm saying that because some of y'all you, you stay confirmed exactly like you were before you were born again. So you stay confirmed in that thing. It takes practice and work. Over and over again, it takes practice. Exercise until you shed off those My excessive God. pounds of sinful fat. Uh huh. Yeah. Woo! That was good. That was good. Exercise until you shed off yeah. all of that excessive pounds of sinful fat. Uh -huh. It likes you. It, it likes you got to break it every day. It's just like every day you got breaks up. Yeah. Yeah. Every day you got to break a spell. Every day you pray, you got to break a spell. That's if you're blessed, you got to break a spell. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I told my children, I tell y'all, I got four good words I can use, and I'm going to go further. Uh -huh. All right. You talking. Amen. 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 And you're going to cut your mouth, and then I'm going to get the Bible. Yeah. Say that. Say that. Uh -huh. But heaven I ain't going to be nasty to you. It's nice, nasty people now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Come on. You must break the cycle of old habits and desires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is hard at some people's amen hand, and some people it's not hard. Got quit smoking. Got to stop doping. Got to stop drinking. Lying. Hating. So forth and so on. Some things you got to put brakes on. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You ever got to a life, Jay, and you were going running and good? It? When you looked up on the side, you said, Thank God I didn't do it. That police was sitting right there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sometimes that's the way you got to do your natural life. Yeah. You got to amen, praise God, apply some brakes to some stuff. Don't stop playing and beating 
because I'm going. Amen. Praise God somewhere. And folks, I've got to loot. What are holding you up right now? What is it that got you? That seems to tag you. Every time you think you got in the way. What's tagging you? Mm, that's good. Tell me what is tagging you. Every time you think you got the what is it that Satan knows within your heart that you got a passion for that God don't want you in? Everybody look at me. Everybody look at me. Everybody stand me down. What is it? What is it? What is it you got? And Satan said, I'm going to pick at it. I'm going to pick at it to my kid. I'm going to pick at it until I destroy you. I know if I destroy you, you won't have no will for God. Uh -huh, this is what he said. He, he said, I know if, if, if I keep picking and dabbing in it, I'm going to cause you to hate God. And he said, that's all I want the church people to do is hate God and make it impossible for them to get any closer because I can not kick out. So what is it that you got that Satan keeps and you don't have the will power to watch me to pick back at you. If you don't like for humans to pick at you, why are you allowing the enemy to pick at you like that? What kind of a will do you have against your foe? What is it? What kind of resistance? Do you have against the enemy? What is it that seems to be impossible? That is possible. Some of you are talking about, I hear somebody talking this one. I'm so depressed. Get up. Do something about it. what's been doing about you. I cry all the time. Teach yourself not to cry all the time. Teach yourself to come up out of what you're in. Jesus. And the Bible says this is a cord 
not easily broke. Come on now. You, you, you can't expect God to walk up in a fight that you started because you don't want to give up sin. Jesus. Holiness is right. Gosh, I ain't gonna fight against myself. Say that. I'm against sin. I'm against the nature of this thing. Don't you understand the authority that made me put the enemy out? When I put Lucifer out of heaven, he wanted to rise up against me. Don't you know sin trying to rise up against God? Look at it. Nothing fights you worse than your own nature. Don't call me God, Tyrone. Amen. 
children is going to be in my granddaddy. He sat on the creek all day. If you got five children, you can't sit your behind on no creek all day. Amen. Yes. 
despairs in our lives and over the years, we done went through so much. We think we done been through so much. Listen, think about how much we done put our kids through. Yeah. You, you think about the pressure on the child now. Uh -huh. You think about it. You think about it. I'm giving you something to think about. It. What pressure? Am I making my child depressed? Am I making my daughter depressed? Am I making my son? What about the grandkids? Who all am I making depressed? What spirit am I bringing up at the house? Don't you know if you're breathing on your newborn grandbaby with your look of bread? Some of us are poor minded in thinking. 
We can't go nowhere unless, amen, we're thinking, I, I can't do this. And, and Lord Jesus said, I would like to go with nobody but go and call the Lord before we get in the store. I wouldn't be at that store, amen, without the Lord. You ain't got to call him when it comes to money. I've already went in there and he already sent me to get what I need to get.
worship that man. But one thing about God, if He put you in it, He gonna bring you out of it. He gonna take you out just to bring you in. He gonna bring.
did y'all catch me? No matter what the devil did, you got strength. Whether it's weak strength, piece of strength, pile of no strength, you got it. The, 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 the answer to your question is, are you using the Bible? What I need to do, are you using your strength?
even in the church. Clap your hands, you refuse it. My God. Yeah. Stop your feet, you refuse it. Amen. Yeah. Pray, you refuse it. Fam. Study your Bible. Family, you refuse it. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. I'm more more. And you sleep instead of pray. Yeah, but if that. somebody called you to go to Buster's damn house, somebody called you to take you some refills and take you a drink, your mouth can't wait. Y'all ain't gonna help me this morning. You got such a taste for it until you never.
so the truth will set you free. Ah, okay, okay. I'm ready. All right, all right. That, that, that impact. Tell your names, I got the impact. I need the impact my mind. See, see, listen, the more intense your fight becomes with the enemy, the greater the miracles are. Amen. Many of you are on the verge of a miraculous miracle timing of God. Tell us. And because you are not enduring and you are weathering the storm, some of us are best what we can and some of us are giving in. Watch this. Satan knows if you ain't worth nothing, he's going to fight you. But if you know you're going to put up a fight, how many fighters I got in here? Yes, Lord. Satan knows when you are that fighter. He knows you're going to get him. I ain't trying it today. And then tomorrow you try and you cry. All right, all right, all right. That's the difference. Amen. My heart is different. You know you're going to get up, amen, praise God, on Wednesday, and you know you're going to try it again. And then Thursday you get back up, and that fight won't be. You get back up Friday, and you might not do nothing. But Saturday, I know I normally go out, but I'm on ground that today. Yeah. I'm gonna put my fight up against. See, say the knows when you got a fight. You might not fight every day like you been doing, but you're fighting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The kingdom of heaven suffer violence, and I got to take some stuff to season my fight. I cannot let the enemy, amen, praise God, take what has been given to me to impact my own mind. Only a fool will destroy themselves. That's right. That's right. This happened to us over and over and over and over. See, you got to put your face up. You got to put your knuckles up. You got to get your knuckles up. You got to bring your face right there. You can't keep telling the devil, I'm, I'm going to be all right. She said a lot, she'll be all right. But see, I want you to become greater. Uh -huh. That's the truth. Amen. Because the Bible said, greater works than these shall be better. He also, amen, tells us, amen, brings God that God has us greater. You are in fact with greater seeds every season. Every season we go through, every day we go through, God impacts us with new fresh oil. Amen. And see, the anointing has broke the yoke on some of you all today. Mm. Because your neck has been oiled. And every time you try to lose it, you slide it down. That's why some of y'all amen and amen, and some of you can't amen, because amen.
steps of praise are. Amen. 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 Amen.
but he comes as a thief to try to take you out. Watch this, just as you done got the ground. Anybody ever had a good ground? You done got into the glory, and all of a sudden somebody could call you and say some stuff. You looking like, and if I ever get that head, that head to the side, <laughs> Woo, I'm not turning my head to the side, some wine on with me. I get one side of me. I get one side of me. And then all of a sudden, there'll come Lou Grace Lee, mm-hmm. Simon Harris right there. Yes, Lord. All the uncles, all my dad's brothers come up with me, all of them, everybody. Look back and come in like a flood. They just overtake me. Yeah, no. Jackson. Ooh, look much. Some of the yellow brick road, maybe on it. <laughs> Has anybody besides me fought a demon that tried his best to take down what God has called me to be? And that anointing that was on your life didn't come to the rescue at the time. Thank God, look like step back and see. I want to see what, how much control you got. Amen. I want to see what you made. Mm-hmm. That's what he did to Job. He stepped back from Job. He told the devil, "See, you have it, but I bet you he gonna cuss me and die." Amen. God steps back sometimes from us, and sometimes it's a jazz, blue jazz. He'll let you put some thump on people. You get through, you feel bad. They sitting over there looking, but I, I bet you, I, and you be like, oh, Jesus. Anybody ever got to that door, that repentance, and you cried? And somebody tried to hold you, and you were so adverse when you were so Jesus. It was so much. <laughs> Get the 
your tears are like blood drops. I need a drop. I'm crying. Don't feel sorry for me because souls are at stake. Angels, move in this place. 
bless the Lord today for you. We bless the Lord today for you and you. We bless the Lord today. Jackson is on, Linda Jackson is on, uh, Miss Drury is on, Deesa Claire is on, and Octavia Young. Hey, Tete, amen, my grandbaby T. To the rest of you, amen, praise God. Attend me on Facebook. Thank you for being and joining us um, on today. Amen, Apostle, I think it's Apostle Timothy Adams, amen, is on. We want to thank all of you today, amen, for your coming, your sharing. You're on Facebook and you want to sow a seed, amen. That seed was what? What I said, 63? 63, amen. Praise God to uh, dollar sign, R H E M A I N T E R. If you will go ahead, amen, and sow that seed, dollar sign, R H E M A I N T E R. That's Rhema, amen. Get notified and push A. We want to say thank God to all of you that have visited on today. Thank God for all of the saints that's here. We we love you all so much. We appreciate, amen, praise God, everything that God is doing and have done in this set season. Those of you today, if you went out, amen, praise God, and you went out for Thanksgiving and you feel that there is a need for you to check yourself, please, this is offered for free. Um, don't be afraid. They did it the last time. Uh, and I, I advise everybody in here, if you went out for Thanksgiving, some of you had your shots and some of you didn't. Some of you all waiting for the right time. I don't know what the right time going to be, 
for some of you because there are some new pavements that have already hit it hit this country. Um, I, I can't think of the name of it. That I 